Welcome to Starbase Pink. This is your daily space and SpaceX news. Let's start the video with the next Falcon 9 launch planned for Monday, September 5th from Space Launch Complex 40, carrying more Starlink satellites and Boeing's Veruna technology demonstration mission hosted on Sherpa LTC2 Space Tug. Elon said that they are aiming for up to 100 flights next year. And NASA awarded five additional missions to SpaceX for crew transportation service to the International Space Station, which brings the total number of crewed Dragon flights for NASA up to 14 to low access to the space station until 2030. It's about $288 million for every crewed Dragon mission. At Starbase launch site, after B-7 static fire test, last night SpaceX team removed damaged Raptor engine from Booster 7. This one aborted and failed to ignite during static fire test. But before that, new Raptor transported from the build site to the launch site and later mounted on B-7 and replaced the damaged one. All thanks to La Padre for the amazing live coverage around Starbase. And we have possible closure next week for Tuesday, September 6th and Wednesday, September 7th. NASA is now targeting tomorrow, Saturday, September 3rd, for SLS launch, the two-hour launch window beginning at 6.17 p.m. UTC, whether is 60% to 70% go for launch. Final core stage and engine preparations complete. And we have successful spacewalk by Shenzhou 14 astronauts, Shandong and Liu Yang. It was the first spacewalk from the Wantian laboratory model. That's it for now. This is the end of this episode. See you tomorrow.